Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're at 181 Grin and Sun Road inside the beautiful community of Mountain Air Country Club. It's a fantastic area, fantastic community, beautiful day here outside. The home behind me that we're going to take a look at built in 1873. Kidding, it wasn't built in 1873. It was built in 2006, almost 1,500 square feet, two bedroom, two and a half bath, phenomenal home. The structure above Timberlake designed log home looks like that log home from 1873. It's got the quaintness, it's got the cuteness of it, it's got two fireplaces inside. We're going to take a look. I wanted you to see the outside, the natural stone looking fireplace. This is something that one of the homeowners said to me is that this home was in style a hundred years ago and it will be in style a hundred years from now and because of the construction of it it'll be here a hundred years from now. So it's a great home. Let's go ahead and take a look at the front porch. Okay, front porch of the home. Um, not sure if you can see the, the timbers up close. Maybe I'll get a close up of those. The hand hewed timbers above the tongue and groove, the four by sixes um, that are run up here on the roof. Um, even these locust posts here are, are pretty unique. I'm not sure if you can see this one here. It's got some amazing insect work in it um, from when it was harvested. Um, just very unique to find. Um, it's just amazing what they've done. Let's go ahead and take a walk inside. So, this is the main living room area of the house. There's actually the bedroom downstairs has been used as a living room area with a pull-out sofa. Um, so it's a larger living room slash uh, movie room area. But uh, you can see it's quaint. It's 500 square feet on the main floor. We've got 500 below us. We've got about 488, I think, upstairs where the master is. So it's, it's smaller in size. But what a lot of people are looking for here in the mountains um, is a small getaway, not a large getaway. I'm told this place is incredibly efficient to heat. Uh, they've actually put in a uh, uh, fancy thermostat, uh, but a thermostat uh, that responds to an app on their phone so that they can see what the temperature is here. They can move it up and move it down. Uh, so it's a, that's a neat feature that they have here. The home, there's a few things that I want to mention here in the home. The furnishings are included. There are some items that are not included, and I'll cover those. But what you see in here is, is what you get. The TV set, the end table, the chairs, the tables. Um, those items are all included. This is ready to move into. Um, there are some kitchen items that are not. There's some deck furniture that, that is not, and I'll cover that too. Um, the HOA. There is a homeowners association. Please look up Mountain Air Country Club. Beautiful community. Been here since the late 80s. Very well established. It's got its own private runway on top of the mountain. Uh, it's a pretty cool community. Golf, golf course is to die for. Um, so there is a membership, a social membership that comes with this. It's furnished. That comes with it. Phenomenal value in this, in this home. So the homeowners association, what's, what's covered? In this little neighborhood here, um, all of the roads are covered. The trash is picked up at the front door here. There's a little container. You don't just throw it on your porch. Um, the staining of the house is covered. The roof of the house is covered. So there are many items. Uh, the grounds around are, are landscaped um, by the homeowners association as well. So you literally have no maintenance here. You carry insurance like you would on your house but you don't have to worry about the exterior of the house. Um, the floors throughout are hardwood floors. Uh, they have that distressed uh, um, hickory flooring throughout the house here. Um, the furnishings, according to the husband, he says it's $150,000 in furnishings. Maybe it's 100, maybe it's 50, um, but it felt like 150 is what he said. Um, but the furnishings are all included. Again, 2006, the home has had incredible light use, never been rented. Um, just them and their family, maybe a few friends have used this. So it's just in impeccable shape and condition. Um, the fireplace, as I said, is a gas fireplace. Uh, there is one here, there's one downstairs as well. Flick of a switch and the fireplace comes on very easily. Also has a blower. He said many times they'll simply heat the house that way as well. It's just a great feel. Why don't we go ahead and take a walk into the kitchen. 
This is our main kitchen area. Very efficient in size. The couple talked about having owned RVs, having owned sailboats, and, and what they liked about this cottage uh, for the fact it's cute, it's cozy, it's romantic in its size. Um, I think you'll see that winter photo, which is just phenomenal. Um, but it's extremely efficient for them. While you could have four or six people staying in here, most often it's them uh, themselves reading books, newspapers, taking naps, taking hikes. Um, it's just it, it feels like home. It feels like that quintessential Norman Rockwell cottage in the woods. Oh. Now, uh, the, the hot water here, again, another area of highly, uh, being highly efficient, uh, is an instant Renai hot water heater system in here. So they don't have to store a lot of hot water. They don't have the tank sitting around. Um, when they come in after a cold winter's drive up here, thermostat on the phone, place is nice and warm, instant hot water, they're ready to go. Why don't we go ahead and we'll go down the hallway, I want to show you the half bath and the laundry room, and then we'll go out onto the deck. Here's a half bath, um, there are granite countertops, you can see the still photography for more close-ups, trust me, there's a, there's a commode here. They had this specifically built for large, I'm not going to call them commercial, uh, but large washer and dryers, front end loading washer and dryers. Um, both of these have pocket doors so that they can be closed off um, and out of the way. We'll go ahead and take a walk out on the deck. Now, the reality here in the mountains, um, this is your living room. This is your dining room. Um, this is your sitting area, your reading room, your library. When you come to the mountains, when you come to the woods, you come to come outside. Um, so this is the main deck. You've got trees that wrap around here, providing shade throughout the day. Um, we can't see it, and I'll take some pictures, but there are short-range mountain views available. In the past, the homeowners have had a few trees trimmed up. Um, it's something that can be done. You're not going to blow out a huge view from here to Montana. Um, but if you wanted to open up some pockets, you could do that. They prefer the shade, the serenity of, of, of this setting here. Um, in the winter time, all the leaves come down. You've got a beautiful view of the short range of the mountains off here in the distance. And you can see the snow on the mountains over there. You're about one mile from the entrance at the gate here to the community. That's a real plus when it comes to going into town. Um, you can be on top of the mountain, um, higher elevation, higher winds, uh, uh, longer drive in. There's pluses and minuses. The other thing that the couple said that they really enjoy is when they're here, this is a different setting than what it's like being at the clubhouse, looking at almost 5,000 feet of elevation into multiple counties. So if you had to look at that every day, God forbid, that sounds terrible. But if you did, you'd get used to it. And so what's the difference of being in your, uh, in your condominium or in your home versus going to the clubhouse? And when you do pay those dues, you do want to be able to appreciate the clubhouse. And so this for them is a setting that's apart from what the clubhouse experience is like. So when they go there, they, they have that, that, that breath being taken away, that moment um, when they get there and the appreciation more than anything for what it is. Stop talking about that. As you can see, nice large deck, completely screened in. Up here in the mountains, we don't have the issue with the mosquitoes. That's not the issue. It's that you turn the lights on and you get the June bugs and you get the moths that come in. And this is just a great way of being able to not have that nuisance. Another feature that the homeowner liked, um, he had dimmer switches put in throughout almost every light in the air. Uh, at this time, why don't we go ahead and take a walk inside and maybe we'll take a look at the master bedroom. We just came upstairs. I want to point out before we go into the main room of the master bedroom, we've got two his and her closets right here along the side. Let's go ahead and walk into the main room and I'll tell you some other features. Is this a great master bedroom or what? Um, again, that 1873 log cabin sort of feel, 2006 technology and, and uh, craftsmanship. One thing they, they, they couldn't fix, they haven't been able to replace is the cost of labor of what it takes to create something like this. It's probably a little bit cheaper in 1873. This is a post and beam construction. What does that mean? That means that the bones are on the inside of the house. 
you see the framework of the house on the inside of the house. Something distinctive about a log home. What's unique is this is the only one of its kind here in this, in this neighborhood. No other home has an upstairs bedroom like this. Um, the furniture here, everything that you see goes. We'll go ahead and peek into the master uh, bathroom and then we'll go ahead and we'll go downstairs. As you can see, very nice master bathroom, granite countertops, uh, distressed black cabinets. This is the lower level of our cabin home here, another 500 square feet. No heating and air conditioning, um, three floors. How do you handle that? There are three zones to the air conditioning system, so you could cool the downstairs cooler if you wanted to. You could shut it off completely. So again, the home is, is very efficient. Um, down here, everything stays except for the rocking chair, and you may see an elliptical bike off here to the side. Um, that goes as well. But everything else that you see here, including the home stereo system, DVD, TV, all of that goes as well. A lot of great space. This couch is a pull-out queen sofa couch. So when they have friends and family over, it's a very easy way to be able to pull this out, make a bed out of it, put it up against that wall if you want to. Um, as I say, this could be a master bathroom, uh, master bedroom as well with a full master bath. There's a storage room slash closet right here. That's where a lot of the utilities are. Uh, the furnace as well as the uh, instant hot water heater is located in there as well. We'll take a look at the bathroom and then we'll go down to the bed. Full shower, as I was saying earlier. Full shower, tiled all the way to the ceiling. Got your granite countertops, distressed black cabinetry, oil rub bronze, uh, small linen closet uh, next to you there. Not sure if you can see it. Behind the camera, there's the commode, um, and there is a heated towel rack as well, which is currently being heated to 78 degrees because uh, that's the comfortable temperature. I'm told I don't I don't have a heated towel. The floor here is also heated. It's tile, it's below grade, so there's a, a slab foundation underneath this. Um, they wanted the floors to be heated, so the floors are heated down here below, so you'll never get your feet cold when you come down. Let's go ahead and take a walk out into the deck. All right, we're on the lower terrace now, just like the upstairs terrace, fully screened in. Behind the camera there, there is a screen door with steps coming down, so if you had guests over, you could simply, they could come down and into their accommodations without having to go through the main floor or vice versa. Um, very good size. They've actually run a TV. I want to talk here. a little bit about the foundation. Uh, the foundation here is, is another unique feature. These are, I don't know the fancy name for them, but these were pre-poured, pre-formed, um, slabs or sections, if you will, that were then brought in with a crane and set in place. I'm told that at the factory, under those controlled conditions, they're able to create a much harder, uh, much more um, um, resistant to moisture foundation here. Oftentimes, cinder block foundations can have some moisture issues. Um, these tend to not have that. Why don't we go ahead and we'll go back out onto the front porch and we'll say goodbye. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back to where we began. Own private parking area out here. Um, some might think it's a little small for the size of the cabin. A couple of cars, a little turnaround here. It's something very simple and it's the end of the cul-de-sac. Very private onto itself. I hope you've enjoyed the home as much as I have. I think friends would love to come here. I think family would love to come here. Mountain Air is an absolutely beautiful community. Um, I encourage you to contact um, them here phenomenal job. You get to see the community. You get to experience the life of what it's like here. Remember, this comes with a full social membership, a $40,000 value, and they put their portion of their equity towards that. So it's a phenomenal value, fully furnished as well. Um, the home was a little over $500,000 when they purchased it back in 2006. This price is outstanding. Um, you can look at the camps at Creekside condominiums here. They're very nice, but you'll never get the kind of privacy and seclusion that you're going to get here with the fit and finishes that are available. So I'll stop talking. I encourage you to come to Mountain Air. Give them a call today. We look forward to talking with you. Thank you.